Yo, 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 what's going on, world? This is your boy Najee from Cigar Talk. Hey, today I got a very special guest, man. Seated to my right. Listen, man, it's one of the baddest boys in the sport, man. Y'all know we did the first one, classic. I had to come pull back up on my boy. It's Ron Boo What's up, what's up? What's going on, man? How are you? Good, how are you? You good? Smooth, smooth, yeah. man. Listen, I'm excited because this is like the homecoming joint. Yeah. Like, this is like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I was at the press conference. You got the big poster, the big. Yeah. How did that feel? Like, you know, the kid from Philly walking into the 76ers arena and it's like, you know, there's just it's just shit. <laughs> Yo, it, it, it feel it feel phenomenal, I, honestly. And what's crazy was in March, I uh I rung the bell for the Sixers and I told my oh, okay. I told my security, I'm like, I said, I'm gonna sell this joint out one day. I said, yo, uh, I said, I said, watch, I said, oh. I'm gonna sell this joint out. And then next thing you know, uh, a month or two later, I got the call. Well, I mean, oh, I, I, I signed, got the call, and now, now I'm finally it's doing here. it. This is here, you know. Uh, it's, this is a, it's a big thing, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the first first real fight at, at the Wells Fargo, you know. How you feel like the city is, like, embracing it? Like, because, you know, like I said, this home, like, yeah. is, it, is everybody going crazy in the town? Yeah. Like, is it, like, the hype? Yeah, yeah you know, I, I feel like I feel like the crazy, I mean, I feel like the town going crazy. You yeah. know, uh, I feel like I feel like it's going it's going, it's going to do good, you know. Uh, and, you know, I can't wait. You know, I'm ready to. Yeah. Right, put on that show, you know, and get that knockout for the fans. Nah, for sure. Listen, you came out on some real Philly. You had the dicky suit, the <laughs> butters. I said, nah, boots ain't playing right now. Yeah. Like, how you, was that like a plan? Like, you was like, I'm going to just come out on some Philly shit? Or like, when? No. Yeah, I mean, that's, I was just getting the Philly vibe, you know, dickies, yeah. butters, you know, uh, thermals, you know. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a Philly Philly thing. Right. You know, uh, I had my braids in at the time, so yeah. I was just, you know, just being me, you know? Nah, for sure. Mm. I mean, obviously at the time, you know, it was Cody Crowley, right? Like, yeah, he, yeah. he didn't um, pass his medical, mm -hmm. um, so they had to move on. How how was it when you heard that part, right? Like, they switching I, opponents out? Because the I kinda, press conference was already, like, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I already kind of, like, figured it a little bit. Like, I, mm. I, I got a video of me. I, I mean, I forgot, I just posted it. I got a video of me telling Eddie. I'm like, yo, yeah, you might as well get a back because I see, I see he's going to try to pull out. I got mm. it, and I sit in the video. So I, I kind of like figured it. Once it happened, I wasn't even mad because I, I knew, I knew like that was gonna happen. Well, I kinda, what like, what some, was it though? Like what you seen something in his I, eyes? I, I and just, you just felt like I just could tell like the vibe. Like, I just had a feeling like he gonna he either gonna pull out or try to make an excuse or something like or something. So I don't know. But yeah. I just I just felt the vibe and uh, now now we're here with a new opponent. So. That's how all that matters. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, how, how does that change, you know, your approach to the fight, if at all, right? Different different opponent, different style. Avenish, he's a harder hitter than Crowley, I would say. Does this change anything as far as your preparation? Uh, Ain't nothing really changed, you know, for the, for the camp. You know, I, I have, you know, Cody and Southpaw. Yeah. So I had a Southpaw. I had Southpaws in camp already. Right. And But it don't really matter. You know, with me, I, I had Southpaws. I had Orthodox fighters in camp. So I, I be preparing myself all the way around because... You never know what a fighter might do. You know, right. you never know. What, you know, never know what they're gonna bring. You know, but uh, I'm glad Ebenezer took this fight. You know, to be able to put this show on for Philly. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm excited. And, he a veteran, uh, like he, yeah. he, he a veteran. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying hard hitter. Do you yeah. feel like is it? Obviously, it's nothing you haven't seen. But is it anything that like when you looking at him in his game that you like? Okay, I gotta watch out for that. Or no, I, I feel like he's similar to my last opponent. I feel like he's similar to Villa. Oh, Villa, yeah. But he's just not as big. He's shorter. He's smaller. So yeah. and and. You know what happened when pressure fighters fight. When I fight pressure fighters, you know it. I, you know I figure them out, break them down, and uh, yeah. and, uh, and and get that knockout. Nah, so that that sure. that be the, that be the goal. You know I'm a, you know I'm gonna take my time though. Have fun with them. Yeah. You know uh, put on a show and look good. My main thing is looking good, being sharp, being being patient. You know not not going too crazy. Yeah. You know? Yo, so look when you cause when you say having fun in it, every fight you always get a moment where it was like Yo. you remember the first fight I was talking about where you did the spin, the yeah, double. Stop. Yeah. Then this last fight, Villa, you did the Matrix on yeah. the slow motion. Bow, bow. I don't know. I yeah, know, how you? I yeah, do it just come stuff. out or is it like stuff that you already like? I'm working on some fly shit that Yo. I'm gonna pull out. And what's, just... what's crazy was I don't be I don't even really be like. Trying to plan nothing, like stuff just be happening. When you in the mood, you feel good. Stuff, yeah. stuff just be happening, and I didn't even realize I did that until I watched it. Oh, for when real? When I got out the ring, people kept showing me. I'm like, I'm like, I did that. Nigga, I was going <laughs> in the crazy. Of the fight. Yeah, I was like, I'm oh like, yo, my that's God. crazy. I'm like, I know I ain't just do that. Like a slow mo. <laughs> like I, I, don't, I never even did that even sparring. I don't even yeah. know how they even came out. Like, right. Oh, that was crazy. But you so know, you just feel it. You get in the mood, and you just yeah. feel it and just start. Like I always say, once I get in the ring, I be in my heavy place. Like just stuff just be. Coming out like, right. like anything. Right. <laughs>
Well, that's for sure. Um, obviously, you know, one of the things that we've seen now has just been inactivity because, you know, you had a different stuff happening outside the ring or whatever the case mm -hmm. is. Um, as far as the inactivity is concerned, is that ever a concern for you? Just like, all right, I've been out for a minute, you know, from under the lights, and now I'm coming back. Does that, does that part bother you at all? No. And it don't bother me at all. At all. You know, I, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna be good, you know. Like I said, I stay in the gym, you know, 24/7. So I feel like I, I should be cool, you know, and I will, I will be cool, you know. Yeah. And, and I'm, like I said, I'm gonna do my thing regardless. It don't matter if it's lights or no lights, yeah. you know. I, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna shine. So nah, don't matter. Sure. Um, now obviously this is the first fight under the matchroom banner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big deal. Eddie Hearn was there hyping up yeah. the fight. One of the interesting things I thought at the press conference was he was like, yo. I've been trying to talk to Boost for like five years. He's, yeah. I spoke to him a long time ago, just on some, you know, yeah. casual. Yeah. Uh, when y'all met, what was the vibes? Like, was it cool for you? Like, he told my his, his My his first part. time. Yeah, yeah you know, first time meeting him. Yeah, he was cool. Good, 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 a great guy. You know, he, he energetic. You know, yeah. I, I'm more on the chill side. <laughs> right. that he's real energetic. So whatever I don't say, he's he going to say. Yeah. So, yeah, so like, I mean, that's how it is. You know, I, like I said, I don't really talk too much. And, that's good I have somebody, you know, backing me because I'm going to do the talking in the ring for sure. Mm -hmm. So you got somebody backing me, That's talking outside talk the ring, the... talk for me. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, when y'all first was thinking about, like, all right, cool, you, you know, you're thinking about making this happen, mm -hmm. was there anything that he said that was, like, you know, made you feel comfortable, like, you know, to do that? To what? Like, just to be with him? Yeah, to join him. I just, went with, you know, did what was best for my career. You know, I feel like that was the best move for me. I didn't, you know, just, that was the best thing for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I saw the picture, it was you, Eddie, and Turkey. Turkey, Alice, yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, Turkey, that's the yeah. money man yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Like, you know, that was that your first time meeting them? Yeah, it was my first time meeting them. It was, it was a dope, dope, uh, dope experience, you know, good to talk to him, talk to those guys, you know. Uh, it was definitely fun, you know, trying to make some big fights happen. That's, that's the goal. It seemed like he, his thing was like, you know, you with us now. That's kind of the vibe yeah. I got from reading his caption. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm looking forward to seeing what you doing. You yeah. over here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What did he say to you? Like, what, what was like, what was the, the energy like of the conversation when you was talking to him? Uh, the, the energy was great. The conversation was great. You know, uh, asked me what I what I want and who I want who I want to fight, and I told him. You know, you tell him? yeah, I told him. I, I said I want all the big fights. I said any like big big name fights, and I definitely I told him I wanted the Crawford fight too. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, was he like, all right, let's make it happen? Yeah, he, does, he, like, he was definitely like, he said, he said we're going to make it happen. Right? He said, at the yard fight, we're going to make it happen. Yeah. So we'll see. You know? I love that. Listen, man, as a fan, of course, you know, the fans wanted to see that fight. You and, yeah. you and Bud, you know. Um, yeah. You got the IBF 47, he got all the other ones. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, I like to see y'all on social media. You're not really a social media yeah, type I'm of not, nigga, but yeah. I see it sometimes. Y'all, he was going back and forth with you. You might respond here or yeah. there. Um, when he said that, like, yo, Boots had two opportunities to fight me and mm -hmm. it didn't happen. Um, what was it? Because I don't, you know, I didn't know about that. He said it was two opportunities. Exactly. You know I mean? <laughs> Just, <laughs> nobody, what two opportunities that I had to fight him? Yeah. When he, when he fought, um, he was he supposed to, he fought Avenida too. Yeah. But I think he was supposed to, he was in the middle of doing something with Arrow at the time. Yes. And at that time, we all thought he was fighting Earl. Yeah. So we all waiting, everybody waiting around, waiting around. The whole Tariq oh, division was waiting around yeah. to see what he was going to do. And he, wanted, he popped up out of nowhere fighting David and Egypt in December or something like that. Mm. I didn't, people don't realize I didn't get the opportunity to fight for the IBF interim until after he made his decision. We was waiting. Right. We was waiting to see what he was going to do. Right. So people don't realize that. They, they said I, so I, I seen somebody was saying, somebody was saying that I, uh, Went a different route or something like that. Yeah. I only went that route because he chose Avenesian. Mm. He could have, he could have clearly picked me. Yeah. I think I think Ortiz was one. It was me, and then I think it might have been Avenesian or Avenesian might have been four or five yeah, or something like that. Yeah, like five. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he, that's who he chose. So y'all can't you can't blame me. Right. You, I get a call. Of course I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Why would I not take it? So do you think he was trying to say that you was? Going for the arrow route or something? Because I, I wasn't clear when he said that. And I'm gonna ask him, me and him yeah. supposed to do an interview, so I'm gonna ask yeah. him what he meant by that. But do you think he was trying to say you was trying to fight arrow or something? Oh, I don't know, yo. I, <laughs> I, I, that's why, that's why, this, everybody be caught up on their social media and stuff. Yeah. People think this, think that, but they don't even know the, the real thing. That's right. going how I, like I said, I never got the opportunity to fight, uh, yeah. to get the fight. And then when we this, when he did when they ask, do, do we wanna fight? We said, yeah. Never heard nothing else to back about it right. at all. Right. So, like, <laughs> with that show, like, right. what you saying? I mean, I love that. Listen, because to be honest, you know, Bud, they, they got him at number one pound for pound, him yeah. and anyway, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And 
the way I see it, my boxing brain is the only person I can actually see got a chance to actually beat him is you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's when mm -hmm. we'll kind of make it yeah. more like one of those and that's, moments. That's the fight that everybody wants to see. Yeah. I, and I want to do it. Do you respect him as like when he's like, yo, I'm on my last, you know, I got a couple fights left. I'm yeah. at the end. I'm only trying to get mega fights. So, you I, know, I don't know. Do you respect not, that or do I you be like, nah, I, under, I understand it, yeah. but stop, don't lie or kept to the net and make it seem like I had an opportunity to fight you and I didn't. I mm. never did. You yeah. see? And, and then that one time that I did, yeah. we said, yeah, we, they called and we said, yeah. We never heard nothing else back about it. Yeah. So, yeah, like. Right. I mean, I respect it though. I mean, get your money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Do your thing. But yeah. don't just don't just don't be cabin on the net, acting like this, acting like that. Mm. I mean, it's cool. Nah, for sure. I mean, obviously moving past Bud, right? Like, cause yeah. for me, it's like looking at you to become that mega star. That because your skills is already mega star level yeah. skills. You know what I'm yeah. saying? What you're doing in the ring. But it feel like you just need that opponent. That's like. Yeah. People gonna be like, oh shit. Yeah. Who do you feel like? Obviously, if it's not Bud, like who is this? Somebody else that you feel like? This fight could put me on a different level as far as the way people is receiving it. Like a superstar. Yeah. A megastar. Um, right now I don't. I don't. Honestly, I don't even know for, for who really at 47 now. You yeah. know that now that Bud fighting at 54. Yeah. But for the, for the time being. Mm -hmm. So honestly, I think my best bet right now is just to go ahead and try to you know not try go ahead and collect all the belts at uh, at 47. 47. Be on the speed at 47, yeah. and then you know maybe so finally we that, finally you get, get it. Yeah. one of those big guys, you know. Yeah. How did you feel? Cause I right, um, when you got the IBF, right? He got yeah. stripped. Bug got stripped. Yeah. You got the IBF. Um, and I know like when when that happened to Devin, he started the email champ shit, where everybody yeah. was calling him an email champ yeah. or whatever. I seen a couple of people saying that to you, not really, but yeah. <laughs> how did you how did you feel like just like all right, you got the belt, you're the champion, but yeah. the way it happened was different than you nah, just beating somebody. Yeah, definitely. The, the way it happened, I mean, you know, like I said, I didn't feel no type of way, you know, because it's not the same feeling as like beating somebody up and taking it from somebody, yeah. taking it from the man, and that's what I, that's what I want to do. Right. I want to take it from somebody, but. I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing I could do. I couldn't say yes or no. I just, I woke up and I was the champ. Like, I, <laughs> right. like what else can I do? Like, I was like, right. like, what I'm going to say, what I'm going to text him, be like, yo, take, I don't want to be the champ. Like, right. how, like how am I going to do that? Like, right. So when they say an email champion, did you see that at all? Or like? I, I ain't only seen like maybe like one or two. Yeah. But I, that, it don't bother me. I don't really right. care. No, people don't understand. I don't pay attention to social media. I yeah. really don't care. Like, right. <laughs> I don't care. Right. <laughs> I think that's that's it. like so. What do you think? Because you know you one of the few guys of this generation that yeah. don't do the social. Mo a lot of them yeah. do, right? They be yeah, on there going I, crazy I hate, and doing. I hate that. the social media. Yeah, why? Why so, is that? Why? Even some, I be catching myself sometimes because I be like, yo, I'm not even gonna see nothing. Like, yeah. like it's, I feel like everybody talk too much. Mm. It's Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't, I'm not a social media boy. That's just me though. I'm yeah. not. I'm quiet. I don't really say something. I I check you in person though, for real, for real. Like right. I check you in person. Like, either that or or just shut up and rumble. Like, I, like, I, right. like I'll like be saying, like, back in the day, they never did none of this. They said they wanted to fight this person. They was fighting a month later. Like, right. right. It was e I feel like back in the day, it was so much easier. I know it's a different time and stuff now, but I feel like, I don't know, it's just... You kind of got a, you got like an old school yeah, like mindset. Where you got that from? Your brothers, your pops? Like, I guess my brothers, my dad. Like, yeah. I, just, I just don't, that going back and forth, I'm not with that because I really might smack you in person or something. Right. Like, I'm not for real. I don't, I don't, they, that's why I say I don't talk too much. I don't play, I don't be playing all the time or none of that. So like, yeah. everybody won't be playing on Twitter, talking going back and forth. I'm not, I'm not on that. So yeah. like, yeah. Okay. Um, I know, I mean, I've heard you say before, like, you know, you thought you may be able to go to 68. Is that like, yeah. like when you talking yeah. like, yeah, because you, you're already a big 47. You yeah. ain't like a little guy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I do, I do. You think I get 68? Up there. I can get it. Yeah. 68, 68 got a crazy, nigga. That's no. when you're fighting David Benavides yeah. type of, yeah, you want it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I be sparring heavyweights now, so. Man. Yeah, so I spar heavyweights, I spar light heavyweights, I spar cruiserweights, you know. <laughs> yeah. Is it easy work still? I, I be I feel I ain't gonna lie, I'll be feeling comfortable when I'm when I'm heavier. Like mm. I, I feel like super like comfortable. Do you do you feel like your power is more at like when you heavier or is it still the I same? I feel like way? my power is there at any weight that I'm at, but I yeah. feel like at a higher weight I'm you comfortable because you're not cutting. You're not yeah. cutting no weight, you're not really doing nothing. Yeah. Like that like after you weigh in and you get the stuff back in your body, you cool. You right. you know, you blowing back up. So I'd be comfortable. So yeah. Okay, um, so I, I want to know, like, as far as 
um, one of the things, like, when you do post on social media, a mm -hmm. lot of times I see you say, yo, I, I went to church today and I got that word. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's interesting because I want to know, like, you know, your spirituality. Like, what is... What is that to you? Like how you how you go about that? Like what does that oh, look like? My, I ain't gonna lie, that's my mom. My mom put that in me since I was a baby. Like going to, church? Yeah. Going to church. Like Christian? Yeah, Christian, yeah, Christian. Okay. yeah going to church. Yeah. Uh she put that in uh she instilled in me since I was a baby, you know. Uh and uh, now I be going on my own, yeah. going without her. Yeah. Uh, even when the days that she don't go, you know. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a blessing, you know. I, I feel like it keep me keep me cool, keep me at peace. How like so you you still do it today, like even yeah, to today, you go today. to church all yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to church on Sunday. That's what's up. How does yeah. it, how do you feel like does that play into your life? Just like, you know, your daily life, how you move and... Yeah, I feel like it play in, it play in my life uh, phenomenal. You just having faith, you know, believing in, believing in the word, you know, believing in yourself, you know, yeah. everything, just having faith, you know? For sure. Tell me about your mom a little bit, because obviously yeah. we all, you know, in boxing, <laughs> you see your dad all the time, you know, yeah, everybody my, know Bozy, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But, um... Tell me about your mom. So I heard she was your nutritionist also. Yeah. Is that too? Like, what's, what's her, like, tell me, like, y'all relationship it's as far as, you know, you the fighter. Like, not yeah. just you and moms, but, like, what, what's that like? No, nah, me, my mom, she, I ain't gonna lie, she do everything for me, for, for real. You know, uh, cook, you know, yeah. uh, clean, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like she, do, she do it all. Like, right. whatever I need, she always there. If I got a caller and need to talk, she there. Like, right. just, she do everything, you know, and uh, I feel like, she just, she the best. <laughs> was she always like super supportive from young of boxing? Cause you know, sometimes yeah. it'd be like the dad be the one putting them in, the moms be like, I don't know. She, she really ain't want me to, she ain't want me to box. Cause I was, I was, I was like kind of like good at basketball. I was like, I was all right. Yeah. And she wanted me to play basketball, but once basketball wasn't fun for me no more, I just was like, man, I'm just Again, stick boxing. to boxing. Like, yeah. cause boxing was fun. It's easy, it's fun for me. And I, ain't, and I grew up in it. So right. once I, started going to tournaments and, and stuff like that. And she said how passionate and, and how much I was winning and stuff. And then once I turned pro, she like, she like, just do you, go ahead, right, I'm yeah. with you. All right, what, what point did everybody in your family, cause like you said, you know, you come from a lineage of brothers that was already making moves. It mm -hmm. wasn't like they wasn't nobodies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they they, they was big moves. fighters. Mm -hmm. um, but what point did they, like your family know like, all right, boots is for real. Like this, this uh, shit real. Like, I don't know. You gotta ask them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. All right. Well, what point for you did it start to feel like that? Like outside of your brothers being the guys that was the face of, you know, the endless crew yeah. and being boxers. Yeah. What point for you did you feel like, nah, this real for me. Like it's my time right now. Um, I ain't gonna. I, I knew it was my time. So I turned professional for real. For real. Yeah. I just wanted to turn pro. Once I turned pro, I knew I was going, like, take off. You know, I, in the amateurs, I ain't really had no amateur style. Like I. I never really threw a lot of punches. Yeah. My whole thing, I was beating everybody by either hurting them or, or knocking them out. Right. You know, and, and being sharp and accurate. I never threw the pretty pet punches, and I always set down my punches and stuff like that. So yeah. I always had that pro style because I've been boxing pro since I was like 12, 13 years old, right. for, for real. So like, yeah, it was just bound for me. So I, I'm gonna say probably since I turned pro, pro, like that. Okay. I, once I turned pro, I'm like, yeah, I, it's, it's time. Like, yeah. no more, no more the games. All right, so tell me about Boots, the boss, man. You got Boots promotions now, <laughs> nigga. This is yeah. you moving different now. Little yeah. Ish under there. Yeah, you got Ish. I got, yeah. I got uh, Ish, the chef, Muhammad. You know, he fighting July 13th. Mm -hmm. Fighting his first six-rounder. Fire. And I got uh, another kid, uh, Deniston, the Quiet Storm. Okay. Thompson. He uh, this is making his pro debut yeah. on the card July 13th. You know, uh, he going to fight at 118, 122. And uh, it feel good. You know, I, you know, I just won. You know, help those guys get to the to the next level. You yeah. know, uh, and, and show them the way. I know it's the chef. I'm gonna have to. You gotta take me to Essie's nigga. I gotta yeah, go see what's I going know. on over there. He, he, he was here. He had, he had to he leave. Yeah, he was okay. early. He had to leave. Yeah. But he uh, right after the fight, he gonna open up though for sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, what made you want to really get into the you know the CEO bag and start to put people on and like have your own promotion company? What What was it in you that was like, all right, this is something that I want to do? Uh, what made me get into Having my own promotion and just I know I I know talent like I see I see talent like miles away and I and I I could pick them so mm. I knew I knew it's gonna he gonna be a world champion I know Dennis and Thompson gonna be a champion so yeah. I know how, I know how to pick them you know and I, I, and I, there's other fighters that I'm going to try to grab you know once I get myself right. you know, up there so. Do you think it's hard for you to do both, being that you you still an active boxer no, yourself and that you know? It's not hard. It's not hard at all. You yeah. know, I, you know, I got a little, you got, I got a little help behind me too. So right. it's not hard though. You know, uh, I feel like it's good that I'm learning both sides. You know, as a boxer and as a you know 
CEO. So. Yeah, I love that. Um, Tell me about some of the other young guys you got coming in here, like, you know, Andy Cruz. Oh, train yeah, with your yeah. pops, man, you know. Yeah. How you, when you looking at these, you know, the young guns kind of coming up and you watching them, like, yeah. how, what do you see? Like, how do you kind of gauge them? Uh, just, uh, it's, it's crazy, you know. I, it's, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm just glad that they're around, you know. They, they, yeah. they helping pushing me, too, you know, helping me get better, too, so. You spar Andy? Yeah, I spar Andy. I yeah. spar Andy. I, I spar uh, a lot of the little guys just to keep my eyes sharp, yeah. you know. What was that work like? Because uh, Andy, you know, he, he a little fast. Yeah, he, he got he some awkward. skills. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got the Cuban style, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's good, you know. You know, he helped me. I help him. You know, we keep each other sharp, you know. Uh, yeah, we got, we got a lot of up-and-coming fighters in this gym that's, that's, that's coming to take over. We got Andy, you got Christian Cardo. Got uh, Tamir Smalls, uh, you got Ish and, mm -hmm. and uh, DJ, well, Denniston. Yeah. yeah there's, there's a lot of fighters in here. You got Hitman, Hitman Haven. Uh, yeah, I seen him spot earlier yeah, today. He, he looking good. Yeah, yeah, you got, we got Shea, you got yeah. uh, O'Shea, uh, Jones, everybody mm -hmm. in here. You got a lot of work in here. Man. So, yeah. Yeah. So. How does it feel for you being that, you know, your dad, obviously it's your dad, he's been training you since whatever, mm -hmm. since you were a little kid. Um, but as your profile grows, that comes with, other people wanting attention and other people, you know, him having his stable of training and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How does that work for you in terms of like being able to still get the same amount of time that you had in that way? You know what I mean? Just because he got so many other fighters coming. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Like, I just, we just, we work around each other, like, for real, for real. Like, yeah. I mean, and yeah, it don't, it, it don't really affect me at all, you yeah. know, because. We, uh, when we come in here at train 11, 12 o'clock, we all getting work. We all getting, we all getting, you know, uh, teach doing and, and work doing. So mm -hmm. everybody, my dad helping, you know, uh, my dad got my brother here, my, my other brother here to help. Got uh, L here to help. Got uh, DJ dad, yeah. uh, big DJ, uh, then a big Dennis then. Yeah. Got, you got a lot of so, trainers in here. So everybody, help, helping yeah, out. Okay. everybody helping out. So it, it's not like he don't got to just be focused on me. I already know what to do anyway. So right. he don't got to just focus on me. He can help. Or the other guys that he got in here too. So, are you at a point that you've gotten so much lessons from him that you could, like, you already know what to do on your own? Like, oh, you could come in here and just no, train yeah, I, yourself in a way. Like, I, in the yeah, way? I definitely come in here and train myself in a way. But you, it's always something you can get better at. You always, always something that you can, um, you know, sharpen up on. You, yeah, you can't, you can't get lazy. You know, right. you gotta, gotta stay on up, up it up. For sure. One of the things, um, I don't know if you saw this, Errol Spence was looking for a new trainer. Yeah. Um, I told you, Dak, I know some of Errol Peoples. Yeah. I said, yo, you might want to go holler at Bozy. You, know you might want to go. I don't know. So I set the number, you know, who knows what's yeah. going to happen. But um, what do you think about something like that? Somebody who, in your story line at the time, you know, yeah. that was like somebody that was a rival and they wanted y'all to fight and blah, blah, blah. If he was to come in here and be training with y'all, how, how would you feel about that? <laughs> I don't, whatever, like. whatever. I don't really get, like I don't really care. I mean, even though I I do I do and I still do want to fight him. Yeah. You know, because he's still you know he, great fighter still. You know, yeah. uh, uh, it don't really matter to me though. But you still want to fight him? Is that still somebody I on your fight list? Any, I want to fight anybody. <laughs> you know? like, I, 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 I just like like I, like I said before, like, everybody just need to shut up and just rumble. Like I just yeah. I don't care who it is. Like, I I want to fight anybody, but I, I got I got to make a, make my name for myself with, against a top guy. You yeah. know, and, and I feel like. I feel like, you know, him, Earl's Earl, Bud, mm -hmm. uh, the guy, any guy, anybody at 4754, for, yeah. for like, anybody that got a top name. For real, I feel like there's a couple people in the position you in right now, like like Shakur, to me, yeah. is in your position, where it's like, mm -hmm. Y'all probably y'all the best yeah. in the division, yeah. but it's hard to get fights because Benavides of how good. Benavidez, too. Yeah, yeah Benavidez, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, it's hard to get fights because mm -hmm. of how good you are. Um, how, how frustrating, is that for you? Because I know, like, when I spoke to Shakur, he like, this shit is annoying. Like, yeah. I'm trying to get fights, and everybody, I feel like everybody ducking me. Like, and I, you definitely in that position. So, yeah. how do you feel about that part? It's 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 definitely, it's 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 definitely nutty. Cause, like I said, I want I want to show my my skills. I want to get into, I want to go to that next bag, my next level mm -hmm. against a top guy. You know, I, like I said, I feel like. When I fight somebody that's sharp like me or, or good like me or yeah. on the same level as me, I feel like I'm gonna go to that next level and in the fight, whoever I fight, it might be easier, you know? Mm. Like when you fighting these lower guys and they don't have nothing to, they don't have nothing to lose for real. When you fight these top guys, you know, they gonna be sharp with you, you going, you know what I'm saying? It's, right. everything gonna be on point. So I think I fight somebody that's sharp like me and I feel like I take my skill to the next level. Mm. And I feel like I, I shock a lot of people because it, it, the fight would be easier than what, what they think it is. Yeah. Do you, 
have you gotten discouraged by the process of like, you know, trying to become the guy? No, I ain't get discouraged. You just got, I feel like with boxing, it, it take patience. You just got to be patient. You can't rush nothing, you know. Yeah. You know, and I think everything going to be, everything going to be great. You know, I just, just, just keep being patient, you know. Sure. Everything going to be cool. For sure. Well, you know, listen, as boxing media, one of the jobs, because you haven't really never had no weaknesses yet. So it's like when you yeah. when you great, people gotta find something to be like, nah, he, he did yeah. this though. You know yeah. what I'm gonna say? The one yeah. fight that they tried to say with Karen, we yeah. fought Karen and they were saying, I love it. We don't know he boots, we don't know Boots cut off the ring with Karen. I love it. How did yeah? I what? love it. <laughs> I love it. Like yeah. he not the he not the only I fought plenty of fighters that moved around like that. It just that that night, my whole mindset was Knockout, knock out, you knock. I'm knocking him out. I'm Are knocking him out. Knocking him out. Knocking him out. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, even the whole time, like Lee said, I'm like, I'm knocking this boy. I ain't like right. worry about him. Like I ain't. Right. I didn't sleep on him, but I'm like, my whole mindset was just knockout. Right. If you people, I really didn't really jab or go to the body until after the sixth round. Mm. So I, I mean that that one was kind. Of, that one was kind of like on me though. You know, uh, I should just been patient. Like how I was my last fight. Just been yeah. been patient. Take my time. Jab. Not looking for it and just have fun. You know. Yeah. And, and when you have, every time I have fun, not look for it, the knockout always, always comes. comes. Every time I, all the fights that I didn't knock nobody out, I would look for the knockout. Mm. And then, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I didn't knock him out. So I, I mean, I, I knew that. I should have just, that, that's just me though. So, yeah. from, like, from here on out, I'm just going, going yeah, there, have go fun. Yeah. And put like on I said, the show. And, like I said, I got to yeah. keep it with a grain of salt because it wasn't like, yeah. I don't think you lost a round. Yeah. <laughs> it was like you ain't lose no rounds, but yeah, it's like, I, people got to find something yeah. that's like, you know what I'm saying? That fight, and then I think the fight before that. Who's uh, before that? I'm sorry. No, that fight, that fight, and they, and they, tried, they said that I can't cut the ring off. Yeah, yeah. Tell me I got hit too much. Yo, I get hit less than all your favorite fighters. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> they be tripping. Yeah, like, I don't know what they want. Like, I don't yeah, know what they want from that. me. Like, right. I feel like with me, it don't matter who who they put in front of me. They can put a brick brick wall in front of me. I knock that joint out. They gonna be like, I'm supposed to do that. Like, it right. Just, it's, it's, always box, it's, it's always like, yeah, it's, it's always something. They always try to find something, but I ain't I ain't worried about it. I, my whole thing is. Focus on myself. Yeah. Do it for me and my family, you know, and, and that's it. Nah, for sure. Um, I wanted to ask you about, um, you know, this is the second part of your career to me, right? Like, you, you got past the first part, now yeah. you, you know, you're a champion now, and this is like, all right, whatever happens from here is, you know, gonna be the elevation of mm -hmm. the boot story. Mm -hmm. um, what do you feel like you learned from the first part of your career until now that, like, now this is the second part. What do you feel like you learned so far? Uh, I feel like I, I feel like I'm like kind of like maturing, definitely maturing, and like it, as a as a as a fighter in general, you know. Uh, and the second half is going to be a lot different. Mm. Like, There's going to be a lot more knockouts and, and and a lot more smarts, you know. Yeah. yeah. What could you tell the young guys that look up to you that's coming up that's like, yo, you know, boost that guy. I'm watching them. Da da. No, I just just. Stay focused. <laughs> stay focused. Stay locked in. Stay patient. Don't rush nothing. You yeah. know, don't. If you don't got, if you don't got to do it, don't rush it. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. take your time. Make all the right decisions. Smart moves. You uh, know, everything gonna be cool. You know who the young gun that remind me of you though? Who? Abdul Amazing. Yeah, I, Abdul like Amazing. Y'all gotta. His style is like it, yeah. it's. I don't want to say similar, but there's yeah. things that he do that remind me of how your style is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, your style, your style yeah. kind of remi I don't, your style reminds me of like when I see him, it's like it give me boots. Like yeah. you know, it's not exactly the same, but it yeah. feel like that. he like he like real tight. And yeah, he, he kind of remind me of Earl a little bit. Earl, because he, he keep his hands mm -hmm. up high. Yeah, but he do like slick sharp stuff. He's slick. Yeah, he's slicker. He's sharp he's too though, yeah. right? Yeah. He's yeah. sharp, yeah. but he got the nasty, the yeah. nastiness that you got. Yeah. <laughs> like the, oh, yeah. he got the little yeah, nasty. Yeah, no, that's I, I ain't gonna lie. I really don't watch like. Boxing like that, but he one of the young boys that are, like the young African guys that I be watching. Like mm. I don't like I don't mind watching him. Like, yeah, cause I I know he going he like exciting to me. Like right. Yeah, I like I like Odell Mason. He's tough. <laughs> is it is it any other young guys that you could shout out that you like? You know, I like how he doing it. I, or, uh, or nah. Uh, outside of the young guys. Outside you of my guys. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna lie, Abdullah Mason. Benavidez is not young, but I mean yeah. he not. Well, yeah, I Benavidez, Benavidez, you know, yeah. Benavidez, Dylan Mason. Uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's, it's a couple other guys I probably I'm forgetting, forgetting but yeah. 
Okay. I definitely, I definitely rock with Dylan Mason. He, he, he sharp for yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me just throw out a couple fantasy future fights. People like to always see how you break it down. Mm -hmm. Shit. Uh, obviously the big one at 135, Tank versus Shakur. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to see that. Uh, how do you see, you know, your boxing brain? How do mm -hmm. you see that fight going? Uh, that's, a, that's a great fight. You know, uh, I think that's that's 50-50. You know, uh, you know, they two two great guys, two sharp guys, and. Uh, <laughs> That's a great fight. You, you feel know? like, is it 50-50? Like, you feel like it, that? No. Or is yeah, this they, political boost giving me? Or you feel nah, like, is it really 50-50? No, nah, I really think it's 50-50. You know, yeah. they're both great fighters, though. Yeah. Like, like we're we not going to know until they get yeah, in the ring. For sure. You know, sure. I, I can say what all I want. It don't really matter. <laughs> yeah. But I really, I think it's a 50-50 fight. You know? I think so, too. That's, that's a great match. You know, uh, Shakur is sharp. You know, he know how to box. He's technical. You know, Tank, you know, he's sharp. <laughs> he box. He power. Power. He box. Mm -hmm. He do everything, too. So. I don't know. I, I think that's gonna make up for a great fight. You yeah, know, I, I think, think that's so. gonna be a, a sharp, technical fight. You know. How you how you see sixty eight with Benavides and Canelo? I, I like that. I, I like it. I like it. That's a good fight. Um, I think. I think I, I think I'm gonna lean towards Benavides. Me too. Yeah, he just too he just too much of a. I think he just too much of a like bully for for real. Yeah. yeah. Canelo kind of small. Yeah. And I feel, I feel like my personal opinion, I feel like yeah. Canelo on the back end. Little, yeah, yeah, yeah. On his back I can see career. a little declines. Yeah. Like the reflexes I, I, is just a little slower. Yeah, it's off, it's yeah. a little stamina just a little different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think they're gonna fight though. I ain't gonna you don't lie. think so? Nah. Well Canelo last fight, like listen, man. Yeah. Turkey come, give me two hundred. Yeah, I mean unless the, unless the turkey involved, turkey. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Do you think Turkey could like Change your career, like he could, cause he just it seemed like he throw around money so much that yeah. <laughs> niggas want to fight. Like, alright, yeah. if Turkey fight, if Turkey with it, then I'm yeah. with it. Yeah. Do you feel like you know with him having, you know, you having his support that mm -hmm. that changes stuff for you? I feel like definitely feel like he could for yeah. sure. Yeah. Man, he, you know, he he giving it he giving it up, you know. Yeah. So yeah, so hopefully that's the goal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get them big fights. Nah, for sure. Lastly, man, um, tell me about the you know investments that you made. Since you, you know, get into the money now, boots. I seen the, I seen the guarantee. I ain't gonna say it on it. You know, what I, mean? I see how much they guarantee in your next fight. No, you know that, ain't, that ain't true. Couple M's. That's what they saying. That ain't true. <laughs> boots say I'm broke, baby. I'm broke. No, yeah, ain't true. Not at all. No, I ain't. Just right now, just chilling. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I'm just uh, my next. My next goal is to get a gym, like another, oh, like another a, bigger, gym. a bigger spot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever like? Have you started to make? Financial investments and doing things like that. I heard, yeah. you, I heard you bought a crib not too long yeah, ago. Yeah, crib, uh, building, buildings, and like stuff like that. Yeah, houses, just flipping them. Oh, you doing real estate? That's, all that that's right now? Yep. Yeah, we on that. We Fire. on all that right now. So, Fire. I, you gotta keep the money coming Concerning. in. Yeah, that's yeah. the goal. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, lastly, let me ask you this personal question, but let me know. You don't have to answer. If you want to. <laughs> Go, Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You a handsome brother? You know what I'm saying? You yeah. get into the money? You know what I mean? You know what that come with? That come with lady. That come with fine joints all over. Like yeah. his boots in the like his boots. Like you know, I'm I got a girl. I'm occupying something. Or I'm, I ain't even focused on that. Like where your mind at when it comes to like women? Women, mm -hmm. I'm locked in. I'm just <laughs> zone zone yeah, I'm zone down locked in. <laughs> you got a girl? Anything like that or no? Nah? <laughs> I know you probably was outside. I'm just asking. You no know, comment. Like, yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, listen, man, I, I appreciate I, I, you. I'm going to be there in July 13th. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to see how the next portion of your career unfolds because this is like, this is the exciting yeah. part to me. Like, yeah. all right. This the, is this the big one. Yeah, right yeah. this is the one. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So we looking forward to that, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I got my man, Jerron Boots, in this. We out of here. Bye, man.